another hand raised. That's David Page. If you want to please unmute and ask your question. Okay. Um, you know, thanks. Um, my, uh, I want to make a comment um, on the uh, RI moving forward, and I like I like to do it in the form of a uh, memo, you know, to the RAB that I simply like to read into the record. It's short. You know, is that okay? Okay. Um, okay. The, the the memo is about the uh, t uh, identity of the AFFF and tanks and hangars at the Brunswick Executive Airport. And it's highly relevant to the RAB, as you'll see in a minute. Uh, in 2019, the main DEP staff sampled uh, AFFF concentrate tanks in hangar 4, 5, and 6 at the Brunswick Executive Airport. Battelle analyzed those samples for PFAS species in 2020. Um, on my request to Maine DEP in early 2023, I was sent the laboratory results. The data show that a single tank in Hangar 6 contains not only fluorotelomer based ancillite, as, uh, ancillite as uh, previously thought, but also large quantities of PFAS based 3M light water the same PFAS-based firefighting foam concentrate as Hangar 4. Um, this is because the entire contents of the tank in Hangar 6 were accidentally lost in 2012, and this is likely replaced with PFAS-based 3M light water from Hangar 4, consistent with the 2020 tank data. Now, the implications of this are that, um, uh, first of all, you know, the floor drains in, 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 in um, uh, uh, these hangars are connected to the uh, Brunswick sewer system, uh, not to the stormwater system. And the sewer effluent sampling at Brunswick sewer district pump stations around town has recently be done, been done by the Brunswick sewer district and the Friends of Mary Meeting Bay. Um, and what they're finding is that high levels of PFAS were found at three locations associated with the former Brunswick Naval Air Station and low levels, very low levels everywhere else. And the highest uh, levels of PFAS were found in the sewer effluent samples from the pumping stations station associated only with and adjacent to Hangar 6 where the effluent sample for July 2023 had 246 nanograms per liter of PFOS at, <clears throat> and the October 2023 sample, 1,870 nanograms per liter of PFOS. Um, the total PFAS are much higher. This indicates that there are variable, variable releases of firefighting foam concentrate within Hangar 6 because the floor drains, as I said, um, uh, drain um, you know, uh, flow through the sewer uh, district system. Now, since PFOS is going to be placed on the circle of this eventually, we should have an official inventory of what is really in the AFFF tanks at the Brunswick Executive Airport, because the eventual disposal of this material in Hangar 6 will be more complicated and costly due to the high levels of PFOS in a tank thought to be PFOS free. Furthermore, um, in terms of the um, RI, uh, <clears throat> you know, we can't assume that um, residual PFAS um, species in, in uh, soils, groundwater, so forth, um, you know, it currently are only due to uh, legacy operations um, by the Navy. It, they're obviously more recent sources of PFAS, so that now we are in a mature phase of the restoration process. The source of PFAS measured in the ground and the surface waters is very important and should be included in the RI. There are two source markers for legacy firefighting foam concentrate, 6,2 fluorotelomer sulf uh, sulfonate, which is ansolite, and um, currently assumed to be in hangars five and six, and PFOS, 3M light water, currently assumed only to be in hangar four. And the fact that that's not the case um, uh, is 
concerning and suggests recent discharges and sources. And so whatever happens, in any case, all monitoring programs really should ensure that sufficient data on PFAS species are reported to allow source of identification of the PFAS detected. Um, and we simply don't have that going back. That's all. Thank you.